For the past month, I've been haunted by a horror of my own creation. It all started out innocent enough. I had just finished my first little indie game. It's called Pictress. You should try it. And I was trying to think of what to make next. I knew I wanted to make a 3D game because I never made one before and it seemed like a good challenge. So I asked myself, what's a simple 3D game that people have heard of that wouldn't be too difficult to recreate? That's when I remembered Slender Man, The Eight Pages. Slender Man is a first person horror game where you walk around these woods collecting notes while trying to avoid a tall creepy white dude called Slender Man. Back in 2012 it was all the rage. People like PewDiePie and Markiplier built media empires playing it. <laughs> YouTubers of all kinds filmed themselves playing and getting freaked out by it. I even downloaded the game myself back then and tried it out. But I couldn't get through it because it was too difficult and too creepy. But luckily, I made a plan for how I could make my own version of the game. Because I am a scaredy cat and can't handle playing horror games, I thought I'd make my game a little more lighthearted and fun. So that's when I came up with the ingenious idea to change the monster in the game from Slender Man to Tinder Man, who is a giant chicken tinder. Because what could be scary about getting chased by a giant chicken tinder? These are the rules I came up with for my game. Just like the original, there's a player being chased by a monster, which in our case is Tinder Man. The player is confined to a small map. The player has to walk around the small map in the dark, avoiding Tinder Man. Instead of collecting creepy notes though, in my game the player will have to find 8 proprietary secret ingredients. Once these ingredients are collected, a secret sauce is unlocked that the player can pick up and throw at Tinder Man to defeat him. This ending is a little bit different, because in the original there's no way to kill Slender Man that I'm aware of. Now onto the development of the game. First, I created a flat terrain in Unity and downloaded a free first-person controller asset to control our character. This will allow the player to walk, look around, and sprint. Then I drew a simple version of the map in A Sprite. Notice that there are 8 places where the ingredients can spawn. I actually added 2 more spawn locations later in the woods, here and here, if anyone's wondering. Next I pulled my simple map into Unity and traced some grass and gravel onto my terrain. Then I sprinkled in a bunch of trees to make our spooky woods. That's a bit too dense. Let me thin them out a bit. That looks better. Then I added some tall grass to finish things off. Next, I gave the player the ability to pick up the 8 ingredients that will be scattered around the map. If the center of the player's screen is looking at the object and they are within a very short range, they can pick the item up. Now for some 3D modeling. I've never modeled anything in my life, so I figured it couldn't be that hard. Well, turns out it's pretty hard. I spent three days following tutorials and only just managed to make this donut. I realized I was way in over my head, so I decided to borrow some free assets from the interwebs. So I spent a few hours scouring sites looking for decent looking free models that would fit with the theme of the game. Then I dragged all the 3D models into the scene. I think it's looking pretty good so far. Then I spent a bit of time creating a maze out of shipping containers, so that at least part of the map would have an interior space. This is similar to the bathroom area in the original game. Now for Tinder Man himself. I knew I wanted him to look overly detailed and delicious. So I found this nice 3D model of a 5 piece chicken dinner and tossed out everything except that juicy tinder. Then I just had to plop him into the game. I think he's a little bit too big. We'll just shrink him down a bit. That's more like it. Then I realized Tenderman didn't have much personality because he didn't have a face. So I thought it'd be funny to give him some of those Groucho disguise glasses. Next I worked on coding Tenderman's behavior. I did this by making a basic finite state machine. A state machine is a programming pattern that gives Tenderman the ability to react to the player in different ways depending on which state Tenderman is in. Tinderman's first state is patrol state. In patrol state, he'll randomly spawn around the map patrolling for the player. If the player is within a certain range, Tinderman will switch to another state, which is either threatened state or stalk state. If Tinderman switches to stalk state, he appears behind the player and slowly starts creeping up behind them. The player will know that Tinderman is in stalk state because their flashlight will start flickering. Also, the player probably shouldn't run when Tinderman is in stalking state because it makes Tinderman move faster. The other state Tinderman could go into is the threatened state. 
In this state, he will appear directly in front of the player. Tinderman is rigged to have a large, invisible collider around him. So if the player looks in the direction of Tinderman and his big invisible collider for too long, it will trigger the chase state. The player will know that they are looking at Tinderman because they will hear the sound of frying oil mixed with the scream of a thousand dying souls. So yeah, don't look at Tinderman or you will trigger his chase state. If Tinderman does go into his chase state, the player is pretty much guaranteed to lose. In chase state, Tinderman runs at the player, disappears for a few seconds, then reappears and pounces on the player. There really isn't a way out of this unless the player has already collected the secret sauce, which they can throw at Tinderman and kill him. I'll work on it a little more later. Okay, now so far I've been building and testing the game with the lights turned on because I'm a big baby. But as we all know, what makes the original Slenderman creepy is the fact that you only have a flashlight to see with. So this is what my game looks like with just a flashlight. And now, we're eating a big old plate of creepy pasta. Lastly, I need to check and make sure that something's working. Yep, the screams of a thousand frying souls are triggered when you look at Tinderman. Alright, on to the main event. Let's fire up this thing and see how it's working. This is what my cursed chicken tinder demon game looks like. Wish me luck. Alright, let's see if we can beat this thing. The sound is working. The sprinting sound is being triggered. There's a page right up here, so let's pick it up. Nice. Okay, so the music is kicking in. Oh, oh, there it was. All right, let's wait till he goes away. Oh, oh he's still there. Alright, he should be gone by now. There should be... Yep. Here's the third page. Now the pages don't always spawn in the same spots. Ooh, my light's flickering. That means he's right behind me. I'm too scared to turn around though. <laughs> Cool. Mustard. Alright, he hasn't spawned. Oh, there he is! I can see him just out of the corner of my eye. Alright, run! Run, run! Alright, he sometimes. Ah! <laughs> He's right there. Oh. Alright, let's get out of here. See if we can get this page real quick. All right, we just need one more ingredient, then we can get the secret sauce. All right, now we just gotta find the secret sauce. Ah! 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 He's right there! Alright, just let him go by. Just let him disappear. Alright, go get the sauce. Should be right back here. There it is! There it is! Let's go! 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 Ah! <laughs> Just have to let him disappear. Alright, go! Go, go! 
All right, we got it. We got it. Now we just have to hit him with it. He's behind us. <laughs> He's right there. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, we got him. <laughs>